we have successfully used restorative justice in somewhat low level cases, simple assaults, robbery snatches, thefts, and we've also used restorative justice in stabbings and carjackings and burglaries instead of traditional court processing. Today, in fact, we focus exclusively on serious violent crime. Our restorative justice caseloads consist of robberies, gun offenses, carjackings, and serious assaults exclusively. And the reason we take serious violent crime when the victim is interested is because we know that handling those cases with restorative justice is the best shot that we have at changing behavior of those young people and reducing recidivism. And that's what the research tells us. The most rigorous research on restorative justice to date is a large study of 12 sites that was a randomized control trial. It was done across the UK and Australia from 1995 to 2004, and it covered over 2,000 cases. And these programs are all around these two countries and they all use restorative justice. They were funded by the same funder and they were all trained in the same way to use restorative justice as an alternative to the traditional prosecution. But in some of the sites, it was just for juveniles and some of the sites, it was just for adults and some of the sites, it was for both. And in some sites, it was only for serious offenses. And in some sites, it was only for nonviolent offenses and some it was used for both. But what is fascinating is that the report shows that statistically significant reductions were seen in recidivism across the sites. And that's not unusual. There have been many studies that are typically less rigorous than a randomized control trial um, across the United States in different smaller programs that have showed, imp showed improved recidivism results as well. But two other fascinating conclusions from this large 12 site randomized control trial study were that number one, Recidivism reduction was greater for serious violent crime than for nonviolent crime. And the recidivism reduction was greater for adults than for juveniles. And interestingly, at all of these 12 sites situated across these two countries, it was police officers who facilitated the restorative justice meetings between victims and offenders. 